If you've ever had the dubious pleasure of editing a video, whether it's short or long, you will know how extremely time consuming that task is. In fact, I remember the very first video that I've edited for this very channel and it took me four days to complete. And that video didn't even have any animations, text floating around, icons, sound engineering, nothing. It was just me cutting the video. It was just that time consuming for me at the time. So today I'm going to present to you a tool which will remove hours on top of hours of editing time for you. The application in question is called CapCut and it comes from the company ByteDance which is also responsible for the social media platform TikTok. And as you might imagine from this channel, this application also comes with a ton of different AI tools inside. For instance, these captions that you can see right here, they are auto-generated. So instead of me sitting there typing out word by word of what I'm saying right now, this is done with three or four clicks within CapCut. What about the text Silicon Mind right behind my back? That's also done with AI. If I were to do this the classical way, I would have to go frame after frame, removing myself from the background and then placing the text right between those two layers. With AI, again, maybe it's 20 seconds of work, maybe a minute. But what about sound engineering? Well, I've never really done that for my videos in the past because I just don't know how to do it. But imagine for a second that I'm not sitting here in a quiet room with absolutely no noise going on around me except for was behind the window. Imagine I'm actually sitting in a coffee shop and instead of silence we have this noise which is um, 10, hour, 10 hours busy coffee shop background noise. Well with the power of CapCut I can remove it just like that and this is pretty much perfect silence in the background and you can still hear what I'm saying. So I think that's pretty impressive. I'll turn this off now. So I think it's time to stop showing off and show you exactly how these effects are being performed within CapCut. So this is CapCut and on first glance it looks like any other video editing software, whether it's DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro or anything else. This is basically what each one of those looks like. However, don't get fooled because there's a ton of AI going around this software. So let's start off with the very first one I've presented you in the intro to this video which is the captions. So go ahead and select one of your pieces of footage and click on the text button in the top left corner of CapCut. Click on auto captions and then select your language, which is English for this case, and click on generate. Give it a couple of seconds. I think it took me about half a minute for mine to generate. And as you can see, it's already applied the text onto my screen. So let's play that. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a system. Okay, so it's perfectly aligned with the video, which again, this saves hours of transcribing the text and syncing it up with the video. Now, the cool thing here is that if you decide that you want some of the text to be shorter or longer, like you want to only have three words per piece of subtitles, let's call it that, you can split up the subtitles that it's generated and it will still be synced with the video. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a system. Then again, if you decide that you want to change the format in how the text is displayed, for example, you want it to be yellow and a bit larger, you don't need to apply this to each and every piece of captions that has been generated. It will apply it to all of them. So that is very handy because again, just modifying one of them edits everything in there. The next one I wanted to show you is the one where you're presenting something behind your head, like some text or a picture or whatever else you want to put there. So let's grab a piece of video. Let's cut it out so that it's um, a bit easier to manage. Copy it, paste it and put it somewhere aside in your timeline. I'll explain that piece later on. But for now, click on the original footage and in the right hand side of your editor, tap on video and there's a little checkbox in there which says auto cutout. So you want to click on that and after a couple of seconds, depending on the length of your video, that's why I wanted to cut out this one because I want this to be quick, obviously. And what happens next is that you have basically your yourself or whatever person you have in your video cut out with a blank background. So it's not actually black, it's transparent. So the next thing you can do is create the background and you can put that underneath yourself. 
So this is what it looks like when I align the videos. So now you don't see my background, but you see this orangish kind of color behind me. But now I'm gonna show you the trick which allows you to actually put something right behind your head as a little kind of fancy animation kind of thing. So now because we have those two videos, one of yourself being cut out and one of the whole thing with, um, with background included, now you can actually place something in between one layer and the second one, which will give you that impression that there's something right behind me. Let's align the videos together and now create a separate piece of text, which you can do by tapping on the text button in the top left corner. Now type in your text or whatever you want to put there. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. What are you waiting for? And now if you put this text between the layers, the first one being just the cutout and the second one being the cutout with the background, you'll have this nice effect of having something right behind your face, which is cool, which is very cool indeed. All right, this next one might not be as exciting as the previous two, but it is very, very useful and it might save you a bit of time. And here's what's going on. So right now, the way I have everything set up, I have this microphone right here, which is connected to my computer, which is standing right over here. And then I have the camera, which is well right over there where you are. And the microphone is not connected to the camera in any way. So the way I edit my videos is I have the footage from the camera and the audio from the microphone as two separate pieces of media. And the first thing I do when editing those videos is I need to synchronize the video with the audio. So it actually isn't as simple as it might seem. Now, as you might expect, CapCut has you covered. So this is what happens. We have the video track on top and the audio track just below it to the right. And what we'll need to do is select both of those, click on the sync video to sound button, give it a couple of seconds, and now it's aligned. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a system. This next one is gonna be very useful when it comes to editing your video and removing all the unnecessary bits up front. So as you might imagine, when I'm recording those videos, I make a ton of mistakes, which I then need to cut out. I say a lot of ums and ahs and weird, awkward pauses where I'm standing there and trying to figure out what I'm gonna say next. So CapCut has you covered here as well. So what you want to do here is select your footage, right click it, and then click on the remove filler words and then give it its sweet time to process everything for you. And this is the result you're gonna get. You have three sections of your footage, which is pauses, repeats, and filler words. And pauses is basically when I'm sitting there idle, thinking what I'm trying to say. Then you have repeats where I don't know, I just repeated myself twice saying the same sentence, so it's gonna remove one of those. And if I click the delete button in the bottom right corner, it will just remove everything that it's realized was unnecessary for the video. Now, mind you, it's not gonna delete everything and your job is done as an editor, but it's definitely gonna improve your speed. And now when I play the video, it's still not perfect, obviously, but at least I don't have those random gaps where I don't know what's going on when I'm editing. Since we're in the topic of audio, what we can do next is we can play around with some of the effects that we have in the library. And of course, everything is still AI generated. So let's grab this video of me talking about McDonald's and we'll apply um, an effect of church. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a See, there's a lot of echo going on around. Then we have the valley effect, which is also an echo, but slightly different. In 2021, In 2021 McDonald's, McDonald's has McDonald's partnered up with IBM. IBM. Then we have deep, which kind of sounds like I was trying to hide my voice when being investigated. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a system. And then you have some pre-recorded voices that you can change your voice into. So let's click on John. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a... And then CapCut can also remix your video to a certain genre. So here I'm gonna use hip hop and let's hear what that sounds like. In 2021, McDonald's has partnered up with IBM to develop a system. All right, that's pretty cool. I don't see if that's ever gonna be useful, but it's a fun little thing you can play around with. And maybe if you're trying to add some weird effect to your video, who knows, maybe that will be something that you'll want to include. So this has been a rundown of my favorite AI features on CapCut. I hope they're useful to you as they will be to me. In fact, I will be planning on editing this whole video using CapCut alone. So let's see how it goes. And I'll see you in the very next video next week. 
Speak soon. <laughs>